Um, my name's Holly Chung, um, I'm 36 and I've just recently completed a stay at Queen Elizabeth Hospital Birmingham, um, having been diagnosed with acute myocarditis. Uh, myocarditis is a very um, rare viral disease, um, so it's a, it's a rare virus and um, basically it's, it comes from, no, but it's from, comes from nowhere. Um, I didn't really have any symptoms other than fainting. And um, well, since fainting, um, I then went to hospital where my heart stopped. And um, I then ended up in the third hospital. And when I arrived there, for an hour afterwards, I cardiac arrested. Uh, the doctors and the surgeons had to try and revive me whilst also trying to um, insert an ECMO into my body, which basically takes over heart and lung function. And... Um, the next day I was then um, taken off the ECMO and they had bivads inserted into my body which basically takes over the left and right ventricle, ventricles of my heart. Um, I was on the bivads for seven weeks and uh, that basically took over the function of my heart to help me um, obviously maintain how I was. Um, and in the seven weeks um, I slowly uh, started to have to learn to do things again, like having to learn to walk and um, I was speaking again slowly. Um, and then after I think about two weeks of being on the ECMO, um, the doctors and the consultants tested my heart and they see they saw that it started to beat a little bit again. Um, but only after day ten, which is when my husband decided to bring my baby back in, into the hospital. And he slept where he slept beside me for about um, two hours. And since that evening, my heart started to beat again naturally on its own. Um, when the doctors came in the next morning and they saw this, they couldn't quite believe it themselves. But they were happy to report that every day after that, my heart got a little bit stronger. Until then, they decided that, OK, it's time to come off the machine to test my heart to see if it was OK. And when they tested the heart, um, it managed to work on its own even though they were bringing down the medication from the ECMO machine um, and the bivads uh, and then since then I'm happy to report that everything's been slowly and surely getting better and seven weeks later I came out of hospital.